Hey gang, it's getting late. Uh, just thought I'd knock out a quick blog entry. We're back here uh, in the old sports cave uh, with the editing machines behind me. But I uh, want to just get a couple of things out there. Uh, Panthers are grinding through the uh, their first week of game prep. Uh, and uh, did a little goal line work on, uh, on Tuesday. Uh, the video that I got, uh, defense looks good. Keekley had an interception of, uh, of Cam Newton. Uh, Derek Anderson threw a pick as well. I mean, there's, there's still lots of rough spots uh, for this Panther team. Um, I, I'm going to say this now. I'm going to get it out there so you can hear me say it. Exhibition anything is meaningless. It means nothing. It has no bearing on what will happen in the regular year. Remember that as you're watching the Panthers play. You can look at what happens with second teamers and how they adjust to certain situations, but by no means is it an indication of how good or bad a player is, and especially if they win or lose the game. I mean that as far as wins and losses. You, know, you evaluate players on what they do in game situations, and that's where you determine your 53 man roster. So. Watch the games with a more educated eye. Don't sit there and say, oh, we lost, we stink, or we won, we're great. It means nothing. You don't carry the wins over, you don't carry the losses over. So look at the games as, you know, as you watch, try to watch the game like a coach. See, what, see if you can see what the coaches are seeing when it comes to your second and third teamers. Because those are, those are the guys that fill out your roster. And, and honestly, when you think about, <coughs> excuse me, when you think about the Panthers, I don't think there's a lot of jobs available. You know, when you look at when you look at their roster and the guys that are coming back, uh, and the guys that uh, you know, the guys that are coming back as starters, and the guys that are you know, were the backups a year ago. There's not a whole lot of room in that 53-man roster to plug in new faces. So um, it'll be interesting to see the, the position battles. Obviously, the, the one that's being most talked about. Uh, at least by my colleagues uh, in the print side of things, is the kicker battle between Linda Mare and Medlock. And, you know, I mean, that that's a job that could very well be won in the preseason, uh, you know, when it comes to time, it just comes down to game situations. And will guys make kicks or will they miss kicks? And and that could be the way that uh, the Panthers determine who's going to be their field goal kicker. Um, okay, so we got that. Another thing that was br uh, brought to my attention uh the, uh, we'll talk NASCAR in a minute. This is Olympic stuff, and I know you guys love Olympics. Um, a friend of mine on his uh, on his Facebook page, you know, posted a thought saying, you know, if you you know American athletes, if they win a gold medal, uh, they get paid twenty five thousand dollars per gold medal. Now that's 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 nice. You know, a guy like Michael Phelps who's got eighteen of them, he's gotten rich elsewhere. Okay. Uh, you know, with his endorsement, Subway and Visa, or who I don't even know, uh, all his endorsement deals. But he posted that, uh, and my friend, my buddy posted that uh, that the athlete should be taxed on that. And that's been a it's been a kind of a topic that's been floating around. Um, I, I don't I don't subscribe, I don't subscribe to that. I'm sorry. Um, you know, it's it's their job. You know, it's the athlete's job to work out, stay in shape, compete, be the very best they possibly can. And ultimately, when it comes to Olympics, they're representing the country. Okay, they're representing and they're carrying the flag. And I mean, I'm, I'm a, I believe my, that I'm a very patriotic person. I love this country. I love my country. Um, and I feel kind of silly seeing athletes compete in the Olympics and get taxed on it. When they're representing their country, they're not representing themselves. They're wearing the red, white, and blue. They're not, you know, it's not Michael Phelps' land or Michael Phelps' stand. You know, I mean, it's he's for the United States. You know, he's racing for the United States now. When he signs a deal with Speedo or Subway, oh yeah, you tax him there. That's taxable. To me, I think when you're when you're representing your country and you're and you're chasing gold medals uh, like that, I think. I think that that's something that should go away. That's just me. You may feel differently, but like I say, you know, once they hit the private sector, like Phelps, citizen of the world, as he was dubbed by Bob Costas, uh, yeah, my IRS on line two, they'd like some of your, they'd like some of your endorsement money, and that is ta to me is taxable income. I don't think that the athlete should be taxed for winning medals. That just that just seems like bad form. That's just me. Uh, NASCAR. Wow, uh, going to Watkins Glen this week. 
and uh, Dodge uh, saying that they're out. They're leaving uh, NASCAR, period. All over the place. Done. Bye. See ya. Uh, no Cup Series, no Nationwide Series. Feel bad for the Dodge folks. Uh, I do. Because, uh, I mean, you pour a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into that, uh, into that racing program. And it's just, I found it so funny that there would, that no team uh, wanted to work with them. And, you know, is that, to me, I guess when you think about it, it's more of an indictment of Dodge not being a, uh, a willing partner, I guess, or, or a, not as willing uh, as the Chevys and the Fords and the Toyotas. I mean, Toyota's got the, their R&D center, you know, not far from Charlotte, and, you know, teams can go there and test, and, and they, they work with them and, and that sort of thing. And I know that, you know, you read all the stories with Roush Fenway about how supportive Ford has been, and there's no secret how supportive Chevy's been with all the teams that they have. You just didn't hear about that so much with Dodge, and you know I'm not an I'm not an insider. I don't know all the inner workings of it, but in the end, nobody wanted to be a Dodge team. And if you have no dance partners and you got you know a car that you want to get on the track, uh, that's you know it, it's tough to it's tough to put that car out there if no driver or no team uh, wants to work with you. So uh, feel bad for Dodge, but we go from four mac four makes to three uh, starting next year. Uh, also, props to uh, my friends, uh, Lee Spencer and Marty Smith, uh, among others. I mean, those two, those are the first two that I read and watched. Uh, getting uh, quotes and stuff from A.J. Allmendinger. Obviously, A.J.'s on a very limited media tour uh, with who he's going to talk to, and that's fine. But uh, Allmendinger admitting that uh, he was with friends, was feeling tired, and a friend gave him a workout pill or a workout energy pill or something like that. Turns out it was prescription Adderall, according to him. Um, I still, I still think it's a mistake, and I still think it's an honest mistake by AJ. But you gotta know better. You know, this is this, this isn't a workout supplement that he was routinely taking as part of his daily regimen. This was a one. This was something that he took allegedly one time. According to him, he took it one time, and he just took it from a friend of his. What? Not smart. Bad decision. And, and he's paying the price for that. And it's unfortunate. Um, but yeah, I mean, you you got to know better. You know, I mean, I have to know better. I can be randomly drug screened, I think. Or maybe I can't. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I know that I can be drug tested if I wreck a car. I know that. If I, you know, if I get into an accident with one of our vehicles near the station, uh, it's mandatory. Um, but... If you're an athlete and there's random drug tests floating around your game, you can't just say, oh, yeah, that looks good, Joe. Oh, let me grab that. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, I feel great. You can't do that. Got to be smarter than that. Mm, feel bad. It's, you feel bad for AJ, but at the same time, you got to know better. You got to know better. So uh, so that, so you got that. And uh, one other thing I wanted to uh, what was it? You had NFL, you had the Olympics, you had NASCAR. Oh heck, I can't remember it. Um, anyway, you're uh, you guys, the ones that are making this blog a lot of fun. I mean, getting your comments, getting your Twitter comments. Leave those comments uh, about this blog within the blog, so that way our web guys know that you guys are checking it out through the web uh, through the uh, the actual blog address. Uh, and uh, and please do so because we'd love to hear. You know, and once again, the the offer stands. How can we be better? What can we do better? Whether it's the blog or whether it's the Ford Sports Night. We got the discount tire Friday night final coming up as well. I know you guys say we'll cover my team more. We try to get everywhere, uh, so we just do the very best job that we possibly can uh, with what we got. So uh, and remember, with the discount tire Friday night final, you know, I know Raleigh has shows. I know Charlotte has shows. I know Greensboro has shows. Uh, you know, with their own different channels. If you watch the discount tire Friday night final, you get the most comprehensive coverage from across the state. From Charlotte to Wilmington, Greensboro, Raleigh, Fayetteville, you name it, we're we're going to be around there. And uh, so you know, once once again, you want you, you can watch what's going on directly in your backyard. But if you want the big picture, check us out. That's going to be starting up August the seventeenth uh, here on uh, on the News fourteen. So uh, make sure you're checking that out. And of course, the Ford Sports Night every night at ten o'clock. And uh, so we got we got that all all that stuff going. So. Uh, 
Hope you enjoy the blog, and once again, let us know how we're doing, what we can do to do, uh, what we can do uh, to make things just uh, just a little bit better. All right, you guys have a great night. We'll see you again tomorrow.